This is Karen Rancy of Feel Fabulous with Food. I am here to show you the third recipe that I have for raw vegan beginners. You might have been waiting for this. And now I'm going to show you one of my very favorite, simplest treats. Even on the holidays, when people come to our home, all the kids, all the family always love this special treat. That's a pop that I call the banana fun pop. Super easy, two ingredients, and then it's ready to go. I've got bananas. So you wanna use about five bananas and you're going to just break them up and put them into the food processor. You wanna make sure to get ripe bananas. When they're speckled, they're definitely riper. And then you're gonna break it up, put it in the food processor. I have one third cup of pine nuts. Add them to the bananas. It's not perfect food combining to mix sweet fruit with fat, but we're talking about a special treat for the holidays. And the holidays are coming up soon, so this makes a perfect dessert treat. Process this up in the food processor. If you'd like your pops to be more sweet, then you can add a medjool date. You can even soak it for a little while, like two hours, to make it softer and put it in. I'm not going to put it in because I feel that the bananas are sweet enough. Now I'm just going to process this up. And I have paper Dixie cups. I don't like to use plastic because the dioxin and the benzene from the plastic does get into the food especially when you're freezing it at really cold temperatures or when you're heating something. So I'm using paper. I am going to pour my banana walnut mixture, and it's okay if you have a couple of little pieces on the side of banana. I'm going to pour it into the Dixie Cups. And I'm going to put a stick, a wooden craft stick, right in the middle and put it on a tray. I'm going to my next cup and I'm going to fill that up same way. Maybe not all the way to the top, but fill the cups three quarters of the way full and put in your craft stick. We have two cups filled up. This is going to fill up five to six cups all together. I poured the banana pine nut mixture and if you want to add a date, it could be banana, pine nuts and date. And I processed it up in the food processor Poured it into these six Dixie cups. You can see it looks nice and creamy. And then I put it in these glass dishes and I'm going to put them into the freezer to freeze for at least three hours. So now you have it. That's the recipe. And I'll show you what they look like after they stay in the freezer for at least three to four hours. Now the banana fun pop is frozen. It was actually in the freezer for a number of hours. And all I have to do is peel the paper and my banana fun pop comes out just perfect. I can't wait to eat this and I don't think it's going to wait until the holidays.
If you are a woman and you are looking to gain energy, balance your hormones, lose weight, and be part of a like-minded, motivated women's health community, check out my new Women's Health Club by looking at the description below. I will look forward to seeing you on my next video.